Hey everybody, welcome to another Crypto JBro video. It's March 25th, 2022. And in this video, I'm going to cover decentralized exchanges, all the different types of them, kind of give you an overview of the ecosystem. And uh, yeah, most people aren't talking about uh, how many are exploding, how many are coming online. And they're really um, like the first layer, of course, was Uniswap. So that was kind of the uh, first way of decentralized exchanges with uh, smart contracts basically running all of this. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through and show you different ways that they're doing it and uh, you know different chains that um, pretty much any popular chain is developing DEXs right now and multiple ones for different chains. Um, so this is defiprime.com, this is not mine, but uh, they have a great list here. So I'll kind of rant a little bit. Um, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before investing, <clears throat> but you can uh, definitely uncover some good value coins uh, because there's so many DEX projects that are brand new. And um, like even the DEXs themselves have underlying coins, you know, not all of them do, but if you can find these new DEXs with uh, their own underlying coins, it's a really uh, cool area to research. So <clears throat> one of them, DYDX, they kind of do, um, you know, you can do margin trading. So that's kind of an interesting, that's kind of their uh, claim to fame there. You can go long, go short. Um, some of this is peer-to-peer. Uh, -peer. So, you know, there's been peer-to-peer -peer exchanges a long time. And basically all of crypto can is peer-to-peer, -peer, you know what I mean? So there's, uh, that's one of them. Um, so yeah, like I said, a lot of these are being built on Uniswap. Uh, a lot of the DEX apps themselves are clones um, of Uniswap. So um, yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of projects are kind of basically uh, just copying the code and uh, making it their own and then plugging it into, you know, whatever chain they're using. Um, there's some new DEXs on the XDC network. There's uh, there's a couple on the XRP ledger. There's one, at least, um, that I've covered in a couple of videos. It's called Sologenic. Um, the XDC ledgers, let's see, one is called Globiance, and one is called uh, XSwap Protocol. Make sure you're looking at the protocol one because there's two XSwaps out there. Um, and basically, they're using, <clears throat> you know, these faster kind of, a uh, new generation of ledgers um, to where the fees for exchange are like less than a penny and the speeds coming up. So it's like a few seconds I've been interacting with these DEXs and uh, you know, it's a few seconds. So, all right, well, let's keep going. Um, and then you can look at the list on CoinMarketCap too. And you can see, you know, Uniswap still in the lead here with their volume. Uh, DYDX second. Mailer Pancake Swap, that's from uh, Binance. Uh, so that's their uh, exchange. Um, there's so many. I mean, when you go through this, it's just dozens and dozens coming out. Um, so yeah, give a look on these. Um, let's see. Yeah, a lot of them are ERC-20 tokens. Um, there's a Gnosis protocol, CowSwap, more peer-to-peer -peer stuff. Um, and <clears throat> basically these are all, some of these are working with liquidity pools. Uh, people, users can uh, put up and lock up their own crypto or their crypto pairs, maybe a few of them, and they can get the fees back. So that's kind of how liquidity pools are built. That's the structure of them. Um, yeah, another liquidity pool. And you might see them called automated market makers. That's the, uh, the new technology. Whereas centralized exchanges, you know, all the assets were kind of locked up in their database. And then we had to have sellers and buyers match perfectly. But with uh, DEXs and decentralized exchanges, you can like fractionalize assets. Um, you know, maybe, and a lot of these projects, kind of the future where this is heading is to have traditional assets, uh, what's called tokenized onto uh, the blockchains. 
and then they can be traded against in these dexes and they can you know you can have fractions of stocks with this stuff um, trading can be 24 7 so that's kind of where this is heading into the future um, and I see the future there's a few projects working towards this where the future will pretty much be almost any crypto uh, traded against any other crypto uh, also traded against any other uh, traditional asset um, I've said it before, but I think these liquidity pools are just going to keep connecting together. Um, there's tons of uh, like blockchain, cross-chain stuff, you know, with like uh, Cosmos Network. They're, they call themselves the Internet of Blockchains. Um, so they have, uh, yeah, lots of projects where they're, where cross-chain is like the big, the big uh, buzzword right now. So we can go through some more. Um, also, let's see, there was a couple on IOTA too, like one's called Tangle Swap. Um, so that was pretty interesting. There's a couple on IOTA coming out. That's the Internet of Blockchain, or Internet of Things, not blockchains. I'm sorry, Internet of Things. That's what they're going towards. So they have a couple of swaps with their way as well. Um, also, I saw Algorand has a few. Uh, they might not necessarily have their own coins. Uh, but they, I think it was Algo Dex, yeah, that's what it was called. So they had, <clears throat> so they have their exchange as well, but they don't have their um, like an underlying coin. And that's the case with some of these. Some of these are just protocols where they don't have their own coin, but they just have a way, a new way of exchange. Um, also XLM, they have a few. They're kind of built in, like the XRP ledger and XLM ledger was, uh, you know, they have a common code history, actually. XLM split off from XRP ledger. So they both have an in, uh, like a natural inbuilt DEX that are, that's, uh, that some projects are starting to take advantage of. So that's pretty interesting, too. Like you can find uh, these chains with, um, you know, and the value of these DEX coins is kind of derived from the power of the of the underlying chain. So, if there's a DEX being built on a on a chain that's not really proven, then I would then that's something to kind of avoid. Um, doesn't make much sense to me. All right, so that's more peer to peer IDEX. Let's see, Kyber. That's another one that's gaining popularity. Um, and yeah, the way it works is pretty much just, uh, you know, you plug your wallet straight into it, just like Uniswap and, uh, you're off to the races. Some of these are using like, uh, the best ones link up with, uh, hardware, hardware wallets like Ledger and Trezor and stuff like that, or Trezor. Uh, others use, um, like Chrome apps, browser apps. So like XDC Pay interacts with uh, like Globiance. That's their new DEX. Um, that's like a brand new one. And then like, uh, but you know, mo each DEX also interacts with multiple wallets. So there might you might have three or four options in there, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, I just see all of this. Uh, kind of I've said this before too where it's like it's less it seems less like a competition type of thing and more of like a partnerships like how can they best bridge chains um, like the X swap protocol they're talking about all bridge that's another part of the X swap and that's um, I think that's the an XDC coin uh, a DEX coin so that's an interesting one that I've been studying lately uh, that you can get on BitTrue, actually. I think it's, what, XSP? That's a good one. Not advice, but one worth looking into. Uh, the Binance Smart Chain is a pretty new chain uh, that a lot of projects uh, can just plug into. So that's an interesting thing to research. It's, uh, I think it just came out in February 2022. But uh, it kind of runs in parallel to the uh, original Binance chain. Um, it has a lot of new features. I think it's EVM compatible. 
that's another big thing that uh, you want to see with the DEX. Uh, a lot of these are going towards EVM compatibility. So you can just take your EVM uh, app or your DAP and then just port it over to these new chains so that you can avoid like the fees and uh, the slowness of uh, Ethereum. Uh, so that's really what, uh, that's kind of a main driver of all these different DEXs coming out is because people are just fed up with uh, Ethereum slowness and their high fees, you know, it's just absurd. And uh, so this is the new generation of, of decentralized exchange. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, there's some coming out on Solana. Uh, yeah, there's a, quite a few on Solana too. Um, pretty much, like I said, all these major chains. Um, there's Sushi again. I'm kind of looking through these myself. Uh, yeah, just different protocols. <clears throat> there's an Avalanche one. So yeah, pretty much any chain that you're into, you know, you can just, uh, you know, and when you see these like, uh, you know, when you see these market caps that are just tiny and it's built on a chain that's, um, that's you know, well trusted and it's, uh, and it's uptrending, you know, and they have their own DEX coin, you know, those are the kinds of things that I'm looking at lately. And uh, th that's the kind of those are the kinds of uh, projects I'm pretty excited about. Um, of course, sushi's big. Um, yeah, so like I said, just dozens and dozens coming out. It's a great area of research if you're just uh, you know getting into this. It's always a good idea to just choose one thing to research, whatever you're into. And for me, this is like the most interesting stuff because it's looks like it's going to be kind of the underlying uh, way that everything across the globe is is swapped and traded in the coming years. And it really seems like it's happening uh, sooner rather than later. And uh, so that's like the true decentralization, the DeFi revolution that I see going on. So th this is kind of my main area of research. Um, so I hope you got something out of this video. Le give a like, give a subscribe. Um, I'll I'll keep making them just on uh, the interesting stuff that pops in, pops across my radar. And uh, yeah, like I said, just focus on one thing, whatever you're into. If you're into gaming, you know, just focus on gaming coins. If you're into gambling, you know, just focus on gambling coins. Or there's a lot of sports stuff, you know. So um, yeah, there's so many different niches. So just find something that you're interested in and then look at all the projects within that. And uh and then you'll find some, you know, ways either to get passive income or ways to find super cheap coins for investing, if that's what you're into. And uh, keep in mind that all these DEXs for whatever chain, you know, that's kind of the way that we are getting these coins really early is through the DEXs, you know. So that's kind of the main way that new, new coin projects are being funded as well. So that's about it for my DEX rant. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.